Hi, my name is Lorenzo Thigpen Jr. I'm the chairman and founder of a group that's called the International League of Signature Gatherers. Our objective is to put initiatives and referendum on the ballot for people to vote on. I have this belief that everything that we want to accomplish can be done with the single use of a petition. It doesn't matter if it's financial, economical, or even environmental. Our policies can be created by average people oh. <laughs> instead of being legislators. It'll go to the ballot and be voted on, and we'll have the same equal rights um, that, that the legislators have to create public policy. The Global Forum is one of the major conduits to allow all of us to be together to explore the differences in what makes up direct democracy. The difference between what's currently happening in the Global Forum on a technical scale and a fundamental scale is that you still have to have a foundation. Our objective in ILSG is to show people that without the use of technology, you can still get the job done with the use of paper and gathering signatures that way. We do believe in the technology in terms of it evolving to that point, but we have to be able to work from a certain foundation. Not everybody is like the United States. The United States has a combination of both technical and fundamental properties that make up direct democracy. Most areas around the world don't have this concept. So what we're trying to do is give people a starting point from how they can look at direct democracy and proceed from there. What happened was, many years ago for me, there was a lot of corruption that was taking place. But the only way that you could get rid of the corruption is to make sure that, number one, everybody is registered to vote. The more voters you have, the less corruption you have. And number two, to create an avenue for people to use to get their point across, to make sure that our government is working in tip-top fashion. You might say that petitions and, and, and surveys act as a form of checks and balances to get the government to do correctly. What we want to do is take it a step further by allowing the entire world to understand that they have the same abilities to make those changes too. But there is a, there is a catch. Number one, it has to be legally binding, which means that if you design a ballot initiative or referendum, make sure that the parliament or the government has doesn't have the ability to to divert attention away from what you're trying to do. Make sure that whatever you vote on, that's it, that's the law, without any interference by legislators. Number two, you have to get people involved in the voting process so that they can understand their value in the system. And last but not least, number three, tell everybody about what you're doing. The more people that are aware of what needs to be done, they will make the effort to vote because they know it matters. You've got to get mad. You've got to make changes.